Hi, this is Pastor Drew with your January 4th Keeping Connected video. Today is a very exciting day for my wife and I. It's actually our anniversary. This is year number seven, which is kind of crazy. I've uh, been reflecting on these past seven years and it's gone by fast and um, also been really exciting. And so um, thank you for celebrating that with us today. Uh, this week, our Keeping Connected video, uh, we are going to be talking about different spiritual practices and disciplines as we start off this new year that you might want to consider. Um, I am uh, doing several different things, including taking a baking class, which I'm really excited. Uh, I've been interested in the sort of intersection of faith and food and uh, the spiritual disciplines of baking uh, for a while. And so uh, I'm looking forward to exploring that in a new and intentional way uh, in January. So look out on my Facebook page for some of uh, my baking creations this week, uh, this month. So look forward to that. But in terms of um, our church and disciplines that we can take up today, um, I want to encourage you to think about um, how you shop for your food. We uh, are all shopping differently. We're going to the grocery store with masks, or maybe you're using Instacart or some other food delivery service to do your grocery shopping for you to avoid the crowds. And um, all of this has made uh, grocery shopping something we don't just do uh, without thinking about it, but it includes something we have to plan for and think about um, more than we usually have in the past. And so I want to encourage you as you're thinking about your grocery shopping to also consider those who might not have enough resources to do uh, their shopping as well. Uh, the Barnabas Center was our uh, mission that we supported on, on Christmas Eve. And uh, the Barnabas Center does fantastic work throughout our community and is really the foundational social safety net for those who are poor and sick uh, without health insurance or without work in our community. And there are a lot of them. I'm privileged to serve on the Barnabas board and get to see firsthand the impact that that organization makes on the least, the last, uh, and the lonely in our community. And they do really, truly amazing work with uh, the resources they have. And so what I'm encouraging all of us to do as a church is to, um, as you go through your shopping, whether that's on Instacart or um, in person, is to be on the lookout for some staples of food that you might be able to buy, whether that's you need uh, a can of tomatoes, but I would get one free. And so you get two cans of tomatoes. Do you need that other can? Uh, sure, you could use it, but also you could bring it with you uh, to church or to the Parton Center and donate that. So as an example, uh, we put an Instacart order in a little while ago. And for some reason, we got these spaghetti and meatball cans. Um, Malachi and our family loves spaghetti and meatballs, but we don't eat it out of a can uh, and we didn't order it, but we now have all these cans and they couldn't take them back. And so we are gonna bring these to the church and donate them to Barnabas because while we don't eat this can, other people do. And so there are always lots of sales and always things going on um, and different things that the food bank at Barnabas is looking for. And so be on the lookout. I have reached out uh, to the food bank today to see what things are looking for and we will publish a list um, of their specific requests as soon as we get it but for now uh, as you're putting together your grocery shopping as you're going through the store i encourage you to pick up a few extra things each week each time you go and then bring those with you to church so that together we can support the work that barnabas is doing in our community and continue to provide for those who do not have enough all around us so thank you for the work that you're doing thank you for your heart for missions and thank you for joining me in this new practice for this year. You'll find the bins at the front of the worship space, both worship spaces, Maxwell Hall and the sanctuary, as well as in the Parton Center. And I appreciate uh, your support. God bless you.